Please take a moment. Watch and listen. This is a very small sample of the hundreds of species and tens of thousands of migratory birds who use the Mississippi Flyway to fulfill their promise of return. Along our great river in Minneapolis is a 24-hour superhighway in the sky, delicately directed by an amazing genetic navigation system. It is not a choice for migratory birds, it is a deep calling of their destiny. This yearly winged migration gives all of us hope that we will see and hear these beautiful and graceful flyers when they return in the spring. But the Minnesota Sports Facility Authority and the Minnesota Vikings have decided to erect a glass death trap for migratory birds. And putting in so much highly reflective glass places this stadium in direct violation of the Migratory Bird Treaty Act, Minnesota's Environmental Rights Act, the 2012 Minnesota Guidelines for Sustainable Building, and the Federal Endangered Species Act. Why won't they understand that birds can't recognize the 200,000 square feet of reflective glass that is being used? And the planned green space around the stadium will only entice more birds to have fatal or crippling collisions with the reflective glass. The Sports Authority and Vikings say they must have highly reflective transparent glass to fulfill their aesthetic vision, that fans in the stadium can be, quote, more integrated with the community, unquote. Obviously to them, migrating birds are no longer an important part of our community. Here are the sights and sounds we will most certainly witness at the new stadium, unless they replace the current glass with less reflective but still transparent fritted glass. Can't we do better than this? There is a safer glass alternative, which is also transparent and even more energy efficient. And the Dallas Cowboy football fans seem very happy with the bird safe fritted glass used in their new stadium. We Minnesotans appreciate and work hard to protect our fragile land, waters, and creatures. It only stands to reason that we don't want to wait until a high number of avoidable bird deaths forces us to replace this killing glass later, and at a much higher cost. Governor Dayton and Michelle Kelm-Helgen, you owe the people of this state a better explanation of why you would allow thousands of migrating birds to be killed on your watch, and for no apparent reason. We will keep asking until we get a satisfactory answer. Migratory birds benefit us all. Change the glass now. We need your help now to save the lives of migratory birds. Make a tax-deductible contribution to the Audubon Chapter of Minneapolis to help us continue our efforts to pressure the Sports Facility Authority to do the right thing now. Call Michelle Kelm-Helgen and Governor Mark Dayton and simply tell them, change the glass now. And join our growing movement to protect migratory birds by liking us on Facebook. These birds belong to the world. Let's be good stewards for the time they spend with us here in Minnesota.